Hi, everybody. Thanks very much for tuning in. This is David Grossman, The Mortgage Mensch, on uh, July, Thursday, July the 10th. It's a, a beautiful summer day here in uh, Toronto, Canada. You can kind of see a little bit of my backyard. Sun's coming in. It's a real beauty out there. I wanted to uh, give you a mortgage update. I haven't done a video update in a while. It uh, was a, an interesting, uh, surprising, uh, actually, press release yesterday by the Department of Finance. Um, they seem to be moving backwards. Uh, in terms of some of the uh, mortgage innovations and mortgage products that were introduced here in Canada over the last couple of years. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the changes that will be coming up in the market and uh, what the reasons are for those changes. Uh, firstly, uh, they start off uh, the press release uh, uh, giving uh, Canadians a pat on the back, talking about how uh, our house prices are in line with economic factors such as low interest rates, rising incomes, growing population, uh, demand for residential housing continues to be strong, um, housing starts above the 200,000 mark for the seventh consec consecutive year. Uh, uh, mortgage arrears uh, are stable and at the lowest levels. So they talk about how well um, the market's doing, but then uh, they go into saying that there's going to be uh, some rollbacks, uh, if you will, in some of the new uh, insured products that have been introduced. Some of these products have helped to, to keep the steam uh, in the market over the last couple of years, and I'm a little surprised as to why they would be now uh, rolling those back. Uh, for example, uh, amortizations uh, used to be 25 years was the norm. Uh, a couple of years ago, they moved that up to 40 years. Uh, loan to value ratios uh, up to 100%. That means zero down mortgages at good rates. And streamlined loan documentation, really what they mean by that is lower document loans. Uh, for example, for self-employed people, less proof uh, that you're actually self-employed. Um, what is mortgage insurance? Whenever your down payment is less than 20%, the rule here in Canada, if you're dealing with uh, with an institution, um, uh, a federally regulated institution, the uh, loan has to be insured. It's at the consumer's expense, and it protects the uh, institution in case of default. Okay, so uh, CMHC is the Canadian uh, Mortgage and Housing Corporation. There's two other private insurance uh, insurers as well. Uh, Genworth and AIG, but um, actually the government backs Genworth and AIG uh, as well, which I didn't know. So if they're changing these rules, it's going to be affecting all the insurers. Um, that's the way it reads anyhow. So they're going to be scaling back um, uh, the uh, maximum loan to value. So your minimum down payment uh, is going to be 5%. Okay, you can still possibly get 100% financing, but the additional 5% will have to be from a borrowed source. Okay, um, amortization period, scaling that back to 35 years from 40 years. Credit score, minimum requirement 620 beacon. They note there could be exceptions to that, but sometimes people have okay credit, but for one reason or another, their credit score is lower than it really accurately reflects. And there, there were some uh, special products, uh, insured products for people who had weak credit. Those might be going away. Hard to, it's hard to know exactly what the impact. This is the first uh, uh, information that we've seen. Loan documentation. Um, says they're going to be basically needing more documentation. So this could affect uh, self-employed people who um, only had to provide one proof, uh, one form of proof that they were self-employed for a couple of years. Uh, could be more, now maybe they have to provide more than one form of proof. And also, uh, they did not have to, there was a program that came out roughly a year ago um, where they uh, did not have to prove that they were current on their taxes, uh, so people were current on their personal taxes. So if, if you're self-employed and you haven't filed, um, better get those taxes filed. Um, so that is basically what's happening, and a couple other small details, but those are the highlights. The implementation date says October 15th. Uh, that means, as I'm reading it, that if you are shopping, if you're in the market, you want to get your purchase, uh, your, your purchase made, the application has to be submitted by October 15th. 
Okay, so I don't think it has to close by the 15th, but the deal has to be submitted. So if you are in the market and you're going to need um, one of the current products, zero down or a uh, 40-year amortization or something like that, uh, I would strongly suggest that you get moving on that right away. Okay, so what can you do um, to uh, uh, if you want to get into the market and you're going to need some of these products? Well, uh, obviously you want to have the highest uh, credit score possible, so you want to work making sure that your credit is, uh, is up there. Uh, keep your credit card balance as low, minimize unnecessary uh, or eliminate unnecessary loan inquiries. Uh, get your taxes filed, as I said before, if you're self-employed. Uh, save up for that down payment because you're going to need it soon. And uh, look into some of the programs that are available. Uh, home buyers plan, for example, where you can create your down payment creatively using um, the using your RSP. Uh, give me a call if you want to find out more about that. Uh, so that is basically the uh, situation. Um, like I say, a bit of a surprise. The uh, market out there is already uh, kind of slowing down here uh, in Canada so far in 2008. So I'm not sure why uh, they would want to be doing this. And if you're a, a real estate agent or involved in the industry, uh, you might want to consider uh, getting into uh, commercial end of the business um, because so far I don't see that being affected by these particular measures. Um, if I can help, uh, give me a call and feel free to comment or uh, send me an email on this video. Thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful day. Bye.